love taking a sip of water. You know who else loves water? Save the Bay. Save the Bay protects, restores, and improves the ecological health of the Narragansett Bay region. Save the Bay also provides educational opportunities for children and adults, fostering an understanding and a sense of personal responsibility for the resource. Take a sip of that. What is Save the Bay? Absolutely nothing. Save the Bay is an organization that's working actively to correct the pollution problems that exist in the Narragansett Bay. Well, I know a lot about Save the Bay. I know uh, little to nothing about Save the Bay. Save the Bay is a, a long-established environmental organization in uh, Rhode Island that's done uh, excellent work to safeguard the coastline. Yeah, it's an organization that's out there to uh, effectively help save the bay in the Rhode Island, against the bay, my home. Well, contrary to a lot of belief from people, it's more than a bumper sticker. Um, save the bay is a—it's—it's it's kind of a lifestyle. Um, it, it's also an organization that I work for, but beyond that, it's—it's—it's it's, it's a way of living. You know, um, everything I do in my personal life revolves around saving the bay some somehow. I think that the organization itself um, is working really hard um, to say if they deserve taxpayers' dollars. I mean, that would be a great benefit if it was possible, but right now in the hard times of the economic issues that you know are coinciding with our state, it would be a little hard to. I just think that people should want to help the organization and they should want to have a clean bay, and in order to do something like that, they should volunteer. Well, yeah, it's our bay. We might as well take care of our bay. If it's not going to come from taxpayer dollars, where else is it going to come from? It's an advocacy organization that should be supported by concerned citizens. Hello, I'm Ryan Dwyer. Save the Bay is celebrating its 40th year anniversary, and I'm here to ask Rhode Island's educated youth and a Save the Bay rep about its impact on our ecosystem. Sometimes we'd shoot like bottle rockets into the bay to see if we could light it on fire. And um, you know, that just doesn't happen anymore. I think we've come a long way since then. So what can be done to prevent massive fish kills? Everything kills fish. You can't really, you can't like prevent it. The continued enforcement of the uh, of environmental and shipping uh, regulations and also the uh, wastewater discharge from various communities into the bay to keep the, the nitrogen levels low. I don't think we really want to prevent massive fish kills. Um, I mean, if you, if you look at it, the big picture, um, yeah, the big picture. What we want to do is we want to clean the fish up, and then we want to kill them all so we can eat them. And welcome to our Save the Bay press conference. Today, we're going to have representatives of Save the Bay give you some background on the organization, tell you a little bit about not only its history, but its uh, objectives. Save the Bay is committed to fostering a personal connection between people and Narragansett Bay and encouraging investment in the Bay's future. Save the Bay was founded on a community's desire to protect our most precious resource, Narragansett Bay. To do that, Save the Bay has focused on the development of a committed constituency for the Bay. Children and adults throughout this region have learned that tremendous value of the Bay brings to our community and our environment and our quality of life. From uh, 1955 to 1964, Property developers filled 10% of Rhode Island's coastal wetlands larger than 40 acres in size. Let's see, we are cleaning up the bay. We're sending volunteers from New England Tech. We've got Timothy Donovan on board. From one of our Save the Bay representatives, he actually wants to kill the fish, that way we can, uh, well, he wants to restore the fish, that way we can kill them again, that way we can actually eat them. And I think if we could kill more fish, you know, clean fish, um, the prices of uh, fish and fish-related items would come down. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been, uh, been to like the uh, the pet stores, but you, you try to buy a you know a fish, it's it's ridiculous. It's horrendous. What follows is a timeline reflecting Save the Bay's history and charting important milestones that we've achieved toward protecting Narragansett Bay. You know, we could clean up the bay, and instead of you know getting prostitutes, we could just go down to the bay and swim. Swim, make love to the bay. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. As you can see, Save the Bay's history is one of accomplishment for the Bay. Once choked by raw sewage and dying a slow death from industrial toxins, the Bay is now making a comeback. Though there is still room for vast improvement, more people than ever before are able to swim, fish, sail, and enjoy the waters of the Narragansett Bay.